this is your girl Pam from Pam's Hair Expo. Um, what I'm doing today is sharing a helpful potty training tip. Um, my niece is potty training her um, little girl right now. So this is her pot right here. You see how cute it is? What is that? Minnie Mouse? Okay, yeah, this, we got Minnie Mouse over here today. And also my best friend, she's potty training her son. Um, I don't know what type of pot he has though. <laughs> But anyway, we were talking on the phone and she was telling me that, um, you know, she got tired of the cleanup. So I was telling her, okay, um, well, why don't you just go ahead and put the coffee filter inside of the pot, you know, for the cleanup for him because he does poo-poo a lot. And so she was like, wow, this is a good idea. So I felt that, you know, I need to go ahead and just share that with you guys. So you guys would know, you know, the, the helpful tip to just go ahead and have one of those quick cleanups because you really do hate having to, you know, clean up the poo-poo after the fact. So um, what we're going to do, um, my niece has a cushion and that's what I was telling my best friend. And, you know, make sure she went out to get a cushion for her son because he has like the plastic little seat that you let up. But... Um, what it is, he gets tired of sitting down, his legs hurt, you know, his tissues hurting. So the cushion will make it much, much better for them to want to be able to sit down and um, stay on the pot as long as they need to for them to be able to use it. So what I'm going to do is, um, you know, you have your coffee filters and like I said, you can get these coffee filters for like a buck, you know, so it's very, very inexpensive. So what you're going to do is you're going to get maybe one, two, however many um, coffee filters you feel that you may want to use. But I mean, two should be good enough. But if you um, really want to use more than two, you can. It really doesn't matter as a parent. But what you're going to do is just stuff that on down inside of the pot and as you can see it fits perfectly that way you put the cushion back on and you know they sit on down they poo poo after they get through poo pooing then um what you're going to do you're going to have the little poopy bags now they do sell the poopy bags at um you know the dollar store or you can get them um at walmart wherever they sell baby products you'll be able to get the poopy bags as well um what you do is you can um, put on the glove if you like. If you don't want to put on the glove, that's fine. You have touched your child's boo-boo before, so I'm quite sure it's not going to hurt, you know, your hand if you touch it. So what you're going to do is just go ahead and you're going to pick uh, pick up the coffee filter. Like I said, use one, use two, use four. It really doesn't matter how many you use. But you're going to pick up the filters. You're going to put it in the poopy bag. Right now, I don't have a poopy bag. So, you know, you can just put it in any little plastic bag. You know, put it in the bag. And what you're going to do is... You're going to get either the diaper wipes or you're going to get the disinfectant wipes. It, it doesn't matter whichever one you feel that you want to use for your child's pot. But you get that, you wipe it out. Because all they did was just poop, but it went into the coffee filter. So you get it, you wipe it out, you know. Bam, voila, it's clean. You go ahead, you add that to, you know, the poopy bag. You take your glove off, you add that to the poopy bag. And what you do is you tie it in the knot and you just go ahead and you throw that away. So it's just as simple as that. So that was the tip for today. Um, also, like and subscribe. But um, what I need you guys to do is to share this video because I'm quite sure you know you guys know people that have kids or that's potty training. So if you know someone that's potty training, then that would be a great, great, you know, help for them. You know, because like I said, the, the cleanup process for a lot of parents, that's what they dread. That's what they hate. And you don't want that cleanup process to be, you know, that dreadful for them and them getting discouraged at potty training them because they know that they have to continue to, you know, clean up behind them. So go ahead and share that tip with your um, friends and your family members. I love it because her pot says hip hip hooray every time she uses it. So, but this is your girl Pam from Pam's Hair Expo. I love you guys and peace.